Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to a quick tips video for Cinema 4D and After Effects. I'm just making this uh, based on an old comment which I saw a while back and somebody had asked me how I do these uh, light flickers animations. Uh, this is an example. As you can see, they just sort of turn on one by one. And uh, this is actually very very simple and I'm actually going to show you only how to do it in Cinema 4D but uh, the aspects and the, the techniques are exactly the same for After Effects. So I'm going to go to the spline text here and let's just make a quick comp. So drop that into an extrude nerves and I'm just going to type in flicker and then I'll duplicate the spline text uh, get a circle, give it a radius of maybe 2 or so and then drop these into a swoop nerves so we have like a rim at the front here um, like a lip okay uh, I'm gonna decrease the radius of the circle to like 1 or something and then imagine, you know, there's a lot of cameras, animation, effects, whatever, but there really isn't right now. But uh, it's enough to show the effect. If I go to the luminance channel, I'm going to put that on and drop this material onto uh, the swoop nerves. So there's actually a bunch of ways in which you can try to do this. And it just depends on the situation. But one which will always work is if you animate the visibility of this layer using the display tag in C4D. So if I right click I can go to Cinema 4D tags and display tag right here and if you go to the tag properties you're gonna see where it says visibility. Now we're actually not going to animate 100% or 0%. As you can see when I tip the box I can adjust the visibility of this and when I hit render you can see that at 2% we can barely see anything but at 47% we can sort of half see it even though it's almost there anyway so we're actually not going to animate this visibility option per se what we're going to do is to set this to zero so right now there's nothing there what we're actually going to animate is the use of the visibility function at 0% so we're going to animate this being either switched off or switched on Okay, so uh, and actually that uh, re produces a vice versa. Um, uh, what can I say? Result: If this is on, this is off, and if this is off, this is on. This is because on means zero, off means one hundred percent. Okay, so enough uh, rambling. Let's just do this. Um, my project is at thirty FPS, and every time I do flicker animations at thirty FPS. Um, I will set a keyframe every two frames. However, when I'm at 24, I may on this set every other every every frame. So one, two, three, and four. But it depends on uh, how fast you want this to play. So on our display tag, let's go to frame 10, and um, we are going to set a keyframe. So hold Control and click the circle next to the word Use in line with visibility and then we're gonna go one frame forward and let's turn that off and then set a keyframe so we've just set a keyframe of this just flickering on in one hit I'm gonna advance two frames so we're at 11 right now let's go to 13 and let's set another keyframe in fact we need to set another keyframe at 12 and then at 13 this is where we oops that was not 12. Okay, this is 12. Let's set a keyframe. Let's go to 13 and we're going to turn on the visibility again. And let's uh, advance another frame. Let's insert another keyframe and then at 15 we'll turn that off and bring it back. So maybe that was a little confusing, but you get the idea. You basically just want to animate this. Uh, in a way which looks okay for your animation and uh, you can actually do more flickers than just this double flicker which I use most of the time so that's one way of doing that another way might be to use um, the compositing tag and then animate the scene by camera 
option. Uh, but I find with this is, if this was reflective, in fact, that's actually what happened in uh, this video uh, right here. When uh, this thing's turned on, if you rewind the animation to where uh, we had this close-ups, you can actually see there's already a rim here. And this was because I animated the scene by camera control on uh, this edge. However, the reflection behind it could already see it anyway, so all I did there was just brighten up the edges instead of actually bringing them back uh, from nothing. So if you use the scene by camera uh, control, you also don't get a live uh, representation of what you're doing, whereas with the display, you do. Um, so that's two ways, uh, and yet another way could be to actually animate the luminance switching on and off on the material. You would have to take off the color channel, uh, but the problem with this is when it's off, you will get a black uh, line, and then when it's on, it's white, so that's okay, I guess. Uh, you know, it just depends on what you're doing, and you know, each method works best. Uh, in a different situation. And then yet another method, uh, this is the fourth method which I probably use more so now, is uh, I basically would separate my scene into different renders. So I would finish, you know, constructing the scene and whatever, and then I would physically render uh, two different projects, or render the project two different times, one with just the text and one with just the element which I want to flicker. This doesn't always work uh, because sometimes I may not have that uh, type of control but if I do then I will use it and then in After Effects what I do is bring the two renders together and then animate the opacity of the render which I want to flicker and that gives me a lot of control in post-production and um, yeah so you know I hope that clears that up um, I hope you, you know, found this helpful. And uh, if you want to flicker some real lights, you can actually just perhaps animate the intensity. Who knows? So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. And uh, don't forget to check out the website. Uh, it's looking pretty good right now, and I plan to post a lot more content on there soon. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.